How's it going everybody? To my and probably many other people's surprise, the last patch notes did feature the following line. UI improvements breaking now blocks less screen space. It's no secret that I've complained about this and other UI quote unquote features many times in the past. I have a few dedicated videos pointing out these flaws and I've pretty much given up on these ever changing. But lo and behold, the latest patch brought us this. To see the differences, here is what it looked like pre-patch. I'll slow it down and show it to you frame by frame just so you can see the full extent of this UI abomination. A bright flash, text in the middle of the screen that obscures all the actual important UI elements, loud sounds and so on. You've all seen and heard it hundreds of times. And now this is what we have now. What's immediately obvious is that the bright white flash has been severely reduced. The pop-up fading is still there, but it's not nearly as bright or covering as much screen estate as before. The other thing, the text that you or the opposing team is breaking starts further to the left. No longer top center, but rather top left. This text pop-up also happens much quicker and moves to the left of the screen earlier than before. Furthermore, they removed a few of the shiny effects around the text pop-up, you know, the stuff they use to make things look flashy and pretty. The stuff we absolutely don't need. They've reduced them quite a bit. They didn't remove them, but it's turned way down. For what it's worth, these effects happen for maybe a second in a match and oftentimes they don't obscure anything, but the 1 out of 20 times when it blocks something important feels so egregious that this change was absolutely needed. Other than that, the skulls still pop up below the top UI element, they can still obscure attack indicators and so on. So yeah, it's not perfect, but a step in the right direction when it comes to UI. Like I mentioned, I've made multiple videos about all these issues, and I hope those will be addressed in the future. Let me know what your opinion here is, what's your most annoying UI element that keeps messing with you. I'm sure everyone has one of those. Having said all that, hope the video was helpful, thanks for watching, laters everybody.